Having a homestead is a lot of work and effort, and so there needs to be reward as well. And one of the ways that we find is rewarding is being able to offer uh, produce from our garden in our community and in our farm stand. So one of our big draws for our homestead is our you pick pumpkin patch. Um, this here is our riding arena. We have made this into our second garden, which is just for pumpkins. Um, we have had our pumpkin patch for about five years. Um, this is, I think, the third year that we've had it as a community you pick pumpkin patch. And it is very exciting and we love to do it. Uh, but it is a lot of work. And in the past, I have had to come out daily and move water and it's been a headache and just too much work. So this year we have dug a trench. We actually dug it last fall. You can kind of see it's overgrown with weeds here, but we dug that trench so that we can run water all the way over here to this riding arena. Um, and that way we can set up a new watering system that will um, water all of the pumpkins in different zones at different times. So we're really excited for this year's pumpkin patch and we can't wait to get it into the ground and planted and get things rolling. We have over 25 varieties of pumpkins that we are planning to plant this year. Having a you pick pumpkin patch might take a little bit more effort than having just a regular garden. Partially because you have people coming onto your property that are actually going into this pumpkin patch and searching for pumpkins. So we try to keep the weeds down as best we can. However, they can get out of control, especially with our really hot summers. So you can see here we have about three foot tall weeds, sometimes a little bit higher. Um, and so we go out fairly regularly to try and pull as many of these weeds as we can. Um, because the pumpkin patch vines out so much and really takes up a lot of space, it's not always easy to find the weeds when they're smaller. So we do kind of wait till they get a little bit bigger and then we get in there and pull weeds as a family. It's a great Saturday afternoon activity. I wanted to answer a couple questions that we usually get about our pumpkin patch and if it really is worth doing every year. So our pumpkin patch, this is I think our fifth year doing a pumpkin patch, maybe our sixth. Um, it started out just as us planting a lot of pumpkins for ourselves and then it grew each year um, and we would have kind of a celebration and invite family to come get pumpkins and it was just just a fun tradition that we have. We have a little harvest party and everybody gets to pick pumpkins and we eat and it's a great time. Um, but a couple years ago we had so many pumpkins and even after our family got pumpkins we thought why not invite friends and people in the community to come and pick their own pumpkins. Uh, we do have several um, small farms that do harvest festivals and different things like that but 
there's a couple of bigger ones and one of them eventually shut down. Um, and so people were always looking for pumpkins. So last year we moved our pumpkin patch where it is here, which is in an old riding arena. And we planted about half of the riding arena with pumpkins. And after our family picked, we said, hey, come get a pumpkin. They're inexpensive. You know, we have our little farm stand, just pay at the farm stand, come pick what you want. Um, and it was a great success. People were really excited about it. They loved that they were inexpensive. They loved that they got to come pick their own and kind of get that fall tradition in. Um, and so this year we doubled the amount of pumpkins that we planted. It's almost the entire riding arena this year. We have uh, 25 different varieties of pumpkins. Um, and of course, we the tradition stands. We'll pick our pumpkins, our family will pick their pumpkins, and then the pumpkin patch opens to the public. Now the questions about whether it's lucrative, I think a pumpkin patch can be very lucrative for a farm stand or a homestead family that's trying to uh, make money. Um, we actually sell ours for really inexpensive, less than what you would get it for, for the most part at the grocery store, but we have a set price. So all of our pumpkins are the same price, whether they're teeny tiny pumpkins or giant pumpkins. One price for all of them, um, and that helps even out that cost. Uh, we've never had anybody complain about that because they are still really expensive when compared to what you would get at the grocery store. Now, if you're thinking about doing a pumpkin patch, um, a couple things to think about. How much space do you have? Pumpkins take a lot of space. They vine out, they go all over the place. Um, so do you have enough space to make it worth it? Um, are you okay with people coming onto your property and picking pumpkins? Uh, there are several different uh, uh, farmers around here locally that actually pick all of their pumpkins and they put them kind of in a display, I guess you would say, on the side of the road, kind of a farm stand just for their pumpkins and people can come pump pick their pumpkins that way. Um, so that's another option if you don't want to do a you pick. Um, also, what are you hoping to get out of this pumpkin patch? If you're hoping to make money, then you're probably gonna wanna charge a little bit more for your pumpkins than what we do. Um, take into account the money that goes into the pumpkin patch for seeds, for watering, for labor that goes into it, um, for any fertilizers you might put on it or pesticides if you use those to battle some of the squash bugs or powdery mildew or whatever. So take into account all those costs and then help that decide what you might need to charge for your pumpkins, um, especially if you're hoping to make money on those. Um, so that's one of the, some of the things to think about with the pumpkin patch. You also wanna think about um, the legalities of it in your area. Um, do you need to have special insurance? Do you need to have a business license? Um, do you have you know, different things with your ag community that you need to do? So there are some of those things that you need to think about as well um, before you decide to do a pumpkin patch. But for us, it really is just a fun family and community thing that we like to do. Um, we, we advertise on Facebook and word of mouth and that's it. And at the end of the year, we usually are out of pumpkins. And if we're not, we feed them to our chickens and they love it. So, you know, those are a couple of the ways that we make it work for our homestead. Um, and we also changed our watering system this year, which made a huge difference for the amount of pumpkins that we had. We put in some drip line. And so the goal here this year is really to break even with what, what that drip line costs us. But it, it made a huge difference in the time that we had to spend in the pumpkin patch watering the pumpkins. So now let's give you a little tour of our pumpkin patch. We'll show you the different types of pumpkins that we've planted this year, kind of how we set it up. Um, and then you can kind of see what we do and see if that will work for your family. So to start, let me kind of give you a little scroll here of the pumpkin patch. So we have three zones. Over here is zone one. Kind of in the middle here where there's this gap here and tucked back is zone two. And then over here is zone three. So zone one over here, we have mostly, uh, we started out 
with some jack-o'-lanterns on the far side and then as you come this direction we have some specialty pumpkins we have some gourds we have some like sugar pumpkins um, and into zone two which is where all of our specialty pumpkins are and you can kind of see some of them here we have white we have blue and green we have yellow we have black this year um, we got some from the blue pumpkin company and they are really cool we'll show you some of those so that's kind of what's in here a lot of white this year we planted like this entire section here is all different sizes of white pumpkins which is fun and then primarily zone three is jack-o'-lanterns all different sizes of jack-o'-lanterns big small all the different sizes so that's kind of what our pumpkin patch consists of this year which is super exciting Despite the fact that having a pumpkin patch is a lot of work, it's totally rewarding in the fall when my porch can look like this. Plus, it's a great opportunity to teach our kids how to work hard and the rewards that come from that hard work. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.